Hello there and welcome back. My name is Elena. And I'm Hotios and this is The Game Court. Uh, we're going to have our post-game review and discussion now um, about Gaia Project that we've just played and it took us a hundred years and a hundred days. Mm -hmm. This game normally takes us a long time, but I think for whatever reason today it lasted a bit longer than normal, yeah, than I, usual. I would say about uh, two hours all in all, maybe the the, the video was put out a bit less because we're going to cut a bit here. We're going to cut the you know analysis paralysis because yes. I don't want you guys to see 15 years of thinking. <laughs> of my thinking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would, you know, I'm not pointing fingers. Right. Yes, but it is a game that requires a, a good amount of time to play, to enjoy actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a good amount of thinking. It's a yes, very, it's a very complex. A good amount game. of preparation ahead. Yes. Because everything is quite tight. Resources are very tight. Yes. Space is very tight. Mm. Everything is uh, quite scarce. It's a very complex game. Uh, one of the very complex Euro games in BTG is above four, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe something like four point three. I want to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of decision making. Yeah. A decision uh, space here. And to begin with, you have your factions which are all different in every game basically so yes. every time you are forced kind of to play differently, differently yes otherwise you're not going to be able to survive i mean there is technically still i mean as dry as the game is and as much thinking that you put in it and you know you think a million steps ahead mm. to plan yourself to get literally a little ore from here a little credit from there there's still an element of luck to some extent yes for me particularly i feel that the map influences the game at the beginning very much, especially with your faction. Uh, Elena refers to this uh, area here, which is the sector that you put together, and every game, of course, you can have different orientations and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And this is basically the only luck that you introduce in the game. There's yes. not any drawing from a deck of cards or anything like that. But yes, it, the, yeah. how, how the planets are arranged, it can it play... Does a, make, yeah, it makes yes. or breaks your game a little bit. Yes. Uh, uh, but the game itself, I mean, it's a, a very complex, very uh, uh, satisfying game, right? Uh, from yeah, you're the grind your teeth you, halfway, you you're like, You do, oh. yes, you do. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a heavy game. We really enjoy it very much. Yeah. We don't play as much as we would like to, uh, but it's, a, it's an amazing game, really. Um, Setup-wise, I think it's a bit... I think you got used to it, you know, you get used to everything, really. But... For the complexity of the game, I think it's manageable. I think it goes to the heavier side for the setup. Uh, of course, we have made a customized insert which helps a little bit with the setup. Yeah, I mean, it keeps yeah. it all tidy, really. But you have to uh, shuffle these tiles here, you have to shuffle these tiles here. Some of them are originals, here, and then yes. over the originals you put the other copy yeah. and so on and so forth. You have to select the different objectives for the rounds, for the end of game scoring, you have to set up your own board here. There is a bit of a setup, there is a bit of... Not, not significant. I'm just trying to think of a, a game that has kind of a very similar setup, and it's not as complex, and I'm sure I could probably find something with little buildings, something that you like kind of... Like, for example, Maracaibo. Maracaibo is slightly less complex, but I think Maracaibo has even more setup. Even more setup. Yes, so, you know, yes. for what it is, I think it's kind of yes, worth no. putting a moment before you actually set That's it up. So, I, I don't think it's the worst setup on the planet, and I think it's worth it at the end of the day, really. What do you think about the theme of the game? What do I think about the theme of the yes. game? What? <laughs> what do I I'm going to ask <laughs> What do you think about the theme of the day? And I'm well, asking this for a particular reason. The theme of the game is uh, obviously space, mm -hmm. space exploration and space uh, colonization, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, you know, um, it wouldn't make a difference to me if it was a, a space theme or any other theme, like let's say we are around Europe and we go and do the same stuff. Yeah. Too. Or in that in that sense, Terra Mystica, which is a very similar we, game. Yeah. The same game, basically. Is the same yeah. um, the same um, designers? Yeah, the same designers, yeah, the same, same game. Yeah. But Terra Mystica is a bit less complex. This is a bit more, uh, uh, let's say, for, for both of us, it's the, more, the better version of yes. the... the Terra Mystica series of games. And we have to mention we have played Terra Mystica yes, as well. Correct. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't really mind the theme or like the theme. Hmm, I think you were saying that you did, you do not like space theme games. Generally, yes. I, I don't think I find myself attracted to space theme games. So this one, it's obviously a collection because I really like the game. Yeah. I really like the game. Mm -mm. But uh, I don't really think I'm attracted very much from space themes by default, but yeah, I mean, it's just a theme. 
it's just a theme. Exactly. I think, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, just as you said, I don't think it matters exactly. that much. What matters though a lot is the mechanics, exactly. which is what we normally play games for. Absolutely. And this one is a kicker, really. Yes. This one is a kicker. Mm. I mean, it's very well integrated and mm. they've put a lot of thought through it. And I can see how they streamlined it, stream, blah, 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 blah. let me try again, how they streamlined it from Terra Mystica and how they added extra stuff. And it just makes it work easier yes and i really really if i like asymmetric powers i think this game make, made me love them asymmetric powers is a, is a very strong they mechanic made of the game, such yes. an amazing game i mean obviously you can play can i can i have an extra one please of course. any of them any of them yes there you go you have they, the e eaters they made they made the asymmetric powers to have the easy version and then you have the heavier the version, advanced version the yes. advanced version that gives you a different power that's harder to play with but it gives you extra bonuses mm. we played with these ones with the easier ones for a while and then we upgrade upgraded to the other mm. bit which gives you i f i find it better for the complexity of the game mm. i think it just gives you that extra step that you need to just merge with the rest of the game personally but you know mm. it gives you two options and it's it's so exhilarating though when you play and you do the combos and it just works and there are seven of these boards and the, each board has Double two factions, sided, exactly. so there are 14 factions, so if we were to play the two of us in every different combination of uh, the two factions, like everyone tried every faction versus every other faction, mm -hmm. I think that would take us a whole year just playing just this play game. I mean, yes. we've played most of the factions, but I've not I've not played them all both sides yet. And also not, let's say, the Eaters versus the Terrans is different than the Terrans versus the Taclons. And I think it's probably fair for you to play, if you play the B side, your opponent to play the B side, because I think that you get more of the game when you yes, play the correct. B side than the A side, personally. Apart from the asymmetric powers, there are other nice mechanics here. You have your- Tracks? <laughs> you have, you have uh, tracks, also. You have your tech tree here, which is very important. Yes. You start with mines, you go to trading stations, you go to labs, to institute to the uh, what academy how it's called mm -hmm. so you have your tech tree here you have the exploration here as well mm -hmm. right you have your income income is a strong element of this game if you don't do well in income if you don't build up from the income nobody picks you up nobody exactly. gives you anything for free exactly and can we also mention as well which is obviously the core of the game which is the gaia phase and how the the powers, the powers yes. work and how they charge and how you move them across and how you actually use them yes it's yes. such a clever way of actually mm -hmm. implementing extra actions extra resources extra yes, incomes and correct, stuff like that correct. so this is literally the core of the game technically and there are also smaller elements like it's this a worker place element here mm -hmm. first come first shift and a few of the places here are quite powerful elena will discuss about this a bit later <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss about it right now okay. <laughs> yes in in the game that we just finished um i played a lot uh, this i think I, I played this action twice and this action once and they're quite powerful actions but yes. we have to spend a lot of resources QIC is not easy to get, this green Q. I don't know how you managed, I think as you went up on this track yes, and that correct. gave you for QIC galore correct. and yes. I think this is how you managed to get it. I think, I want to say it might be one of the factions, but do correct me if I'm wrong, where you can get QIC easier or the faction gives you QICs, something along those lines. Yes, correct. And, but this I feel like, like we have never played a game mm. where the distance was so big. Yes. Normally I tend to be about this. Yeah, we tend to be this in, in, this, in this range here, from I 105 to 115 or 120. It might have been a combination of me playing quite poorly and you playing exceptionally well. I don't know, and uh, I hope we didn't do any mistakes in the playthrough. You, you can pick it up and you can let us know. But uh, yes, I, I utilize these actions and they are quite powerful mm. actions. And then I focused more on these actions and it made sense for this her, is what my for her character. Me, right? Because yeah. you have this amazing brainstorm, mm -hmm. obviously. But yeah. Oh, I see. So you could... Okay, so as soon as you, oh, fine, it worked. And this goes It worked. Yes. Yeah, it just worked for you. I, I also played with my game with, with my power. Yeah, thing, it does make basically. such a difference. I remember yeah. at one point when we played in the past and I was playing with the same, I could Gaia form the purple yes, planet. Yes, yes, yes. And I managed, I'm, it, again, luck. I managed to find, do you remember? I, used, I managed to find a path through literally the whole map and I yes, built yes, everything. Yes. And it was so beautiful because, you know, you just use your faction. And to its... 
And that game you're describing is the game that I had this uh, 12 pointer federation early on, and then I used this action and I activated it again and again a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So I got like that 36 points. And despite that, in that I game, still you still won. So it's, it's literally in this game, if you don't utilize your faction fully, you cannot do my anything. Yeah, so. I mean, I think the map in this game was against me, mm. and it was even if I tried to catch up and I tried to catch up with distance and I tried to catch up with terraforming, it just didn't help me very much. But all in all, you know, yeah. it's still yeah. an exciting game and it's, an, it's a very good game. And a lot of mechanics here which all are very nicely integrated. How about player count? I mean, we play usually with two or three players, I would say. Yeah, but it does size up. It scales up, well, yes, you have yeah, another three up. sectors. Size up for big, yes, bigger correct. number of players. And I have played with four, I saw a couple of times at conventions, and I think I think it in all player counts, it's just an amazing game. Yeah. In four, you have a little bit more competition around happening, but still. But you can like passively charge more, for example, correct. because you have more players. It might take a bit longer because some people obviously. I mean, we take a long time sometimes to think of stuff because you have to be quite careful with what you do. And you want to enjoy it as well, right? Exactly. We're not rushing the game. Exactly. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, so we discussed about length, which can be for two plays, it can be maybe an hour and a half, minimum, mm -hmm. I would say. For three plays or four plays, it goes maybe up to two and a half hours or mm -hmm. something like that. If all four of them know the game quite well, because the teach of this game could be also It takes lengthy. a while, exactly. Yeah. I think it's easy, obviously, if you played um, Thermistica, it's easier to explain. This yes, is how we learned correct. it as well. We played first One and then we yes, played the correct. other, and then it was easier to understand, but mm -hmm. it's quite... I'm surprised that the rule book is so small. <laughs> yes, but it's very, it's very condensed, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, but it's quite a game to teach. Mm. Uh, it's easy to replay because you select how you, <laughs> you know, you shuffle these things. These ones are double-sided, not all of them, but some are double-sided. Um, the objective tiles at the end are different. Yes, the, the functions are different, stuff. the objective yes. tiles are different. These are randomized, these are randomized. From, so from a replayability point of view... And you have character galore in there, exactly. a million gazillion combinations from there. So you can, play, you can play this game forever and every time and you're not, the, yeah. it's going to be a bit different. I mean, so. unless you play it literally every day, which is highly unlikely, but you know, you never know. Mm. Also, you know what I don't know? Does this game have an expansion? No, not yet. They're thinking of making an expansion. I'm just thinking mm. that even if it's so heavy, it feels like it could take just a little, that, that little bit more. Yeah, and the last thing we'd like to mention, the quality of the game is also amazing. You see that like there are these structures here, exactly. And they're like this little plasticky thing, but like it feels like it's soft, but it's not. They are they're hard plastic, they are very, very good quality. Like acrylic stuff. So, amazing, amazing. It's very nice. Cardboard is cardboard, overall, but overall it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Amazing game, amazing game. Hmm. Uh, we both enjoyed it very much. Hmm. Why don't you tell us what you think about the game? Uh, because it's one of our super favorite games, and I hope that you like it and can let us know. Yes. So this was our post-game discussion of uh, Gaia Project. Post-game discussion. Post-game discussion. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.